Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're gonna get into fabricating the battery boxes that will go behind the driver and passenger seats. So let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna build, I don't even wanna call them battery box, but essentially a frame to hold the batteries here. So I think what I've decided to do is I'll get some angle stock, like so, and I'm gonna have uh, two rails. So essentially one on this back, one on the front, and then I'll just weld them to this side and then all the way to the middle. And that'll kind of help them go, not go forward or backwards. Um, then I'm gonna weld just a little square stock front and back and uh, drill a hole or uh, weld a threaded rod. And then I will get some more angle stock. It'll be a little bit longer than this. But that'll go in here and it'll hang out a little bit and then I'll have a hole here that will go over the threaded rod and I can just tighten it down with a nut. And so that way these are going to be held down really tight. Um, they'll be held on the steel, the angle stock, so um, be pretty secure to the frame. So I think that's what I'm going to plan to do. Alright, I'm going to weld this one in. This is to help secure the batteries that are going right here. Um, and I've got uh, and the underside painted, just because once it's welded, I will not be able to get to it. And I thought if ever any water or something kind of gets here, I don't want it to just sit and rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this one in, and then after it's welded, um, I'll paint this one. But I've also got another one to weld here, and anyway, a couple other things to go. So that's where we're to. All right, one other thing I'm gonna do before I weld. Um, so these other ones, I've got uh, kind of the seam sealer or uh, Kind of the sealant adhesive and um, when I first did it the shell was on so I couldn't get behind here or back there so I'm going to go ahead and get back there around here and I'm also going to just do one underneath here so again the thought there is you just don't want it to rattle as it's going down the road All right, so I got uh, the seam sealer or adhesive. Anyways, all around the back, I put a bead on the bottom of this one. Um, also, kind of on the inside there, didn't have it quite done. And then um, this whole section didn't have done, again, just because the, the shell was on top. But it's kind of you know, what it looks like. Okay, so I was able to just tack it there. Um, again, these wells aren't great, but um, just a little, little there and there, and there and there. And then same thing on the other side. So I'll go ahead and place the battery in battery module and figure out kind of how I'm gonna secure it on these sides. I think I've got it figured out. I think I'm just gonna do like a little piece of square stock here and there with a hole in it and I have a threaded rod that I can put like the uh, angle stock in and kind of suck down, you know, tighten up some nuts on it. So that's my plan. Okay, so I put the uh, sealant adhesive on this piece before I painted the bottom. So I'm just taking the, taking it off before it kind of sets and I'm gonna paint it and then put it back on. Again, my plan was to essentially have you know, one back there, I need to drill a hole over here, but essentially get those welded 
and then each one of those would have a threaded rod that would come up. Um, however, rather than the angle stock, because I got some that was that I had already, so that would just mount in here and then it could be able to be pulled down. Um, I'm thinking I need a cooling plate as well. And I might as well, if I'm getting that machine, just have it be a little wide in one spot and have some holes just so the cooling plate can kind of help hold things down. So I think that's what I'm gonna do there. So this one will kind of take a little bit of a back seat until I can get those cooling plates uh, here. All right, I've been going back and forth on this one a little bit, but I think this is what I'm gonna go with. So um, I'll go with a kind of angle stock here along the side of the battery on both sides, and then I'll do a, a flat stock kind of across the top and it'll overhang a little bit. I'll, I'll weld those two there and then I'll drill a hole here and a hole here and I've got a threaded rod that I'll either weld or put a nut down there and it'll come up and then I'll put a nut on there and that'll you know really suck it down tight. Um, I may put just little pieces of L, you know, just weld them on here and here. Again, everything will be pretty secure just even clamping it down, but may just want some little L's on either side just to keep it going from side to side. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna go with. The only challenge I have is on this side, it's pretty tight, so um, yeah, anyway, it'll be tight, but I think it'll work. All right, got all the angle pieces cut, so I'll cut uh, some of the flat stock now. Okay, so got those side pieces cleaned up. Um, this is roughly what I'm gonna do. So I will, um, well, first I'm gonna drill some holes for the threaded rods to go through. And again, I'll put a nut, kind of tighten everything down. But uh, then I'll just weld, 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 weld. Um, I may put some little angle stock kind of going down on the side, just, um, just little pieces, just kind of there and there. Again, just kind of have a nice cap kind of over all sides and be able to kind of really just tighten it down just so I'll drill some holes and then we'll start welding Okay, I got this uh, one top welded. Um, and I think I'll put on, so this is just a flat one. I think I might put on just a little L kind of on either side to, so again, it'll, it'll sit down pretty good and it's got these on either side here. It'll keep it from going that way. So I just want to do one little one on either side and I think that'll be good. So I've already kind of uh, got it ready for paint. so. Probably do those other welds and then paint this one. All right, I got these little guys welded on. Got one on each side there. And I'll show you how it fits on. All right, so this will be kind of driver side or passenger side on the top. The uh, cooling plate will be underneath. And this guy will just sit on right like that. And so again, I can't really, I got maybe just like a sixteenth of an inch or so um, of play. And I've got some uh, rubber, just some uh, rubber that I was gonna plan to put there, just kind of cushion. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the threaded rod and tighten it down with a nut. But I'll just have a little bit of cushion there 
And so I'll go ahead and paint this up and then I need to weld the, uh, essentially the little pieces for the threaded rod to go to. I need to weld those in the chassis. Okay, there it is, all painted. All right, so made some little steel blocks, um, welded nuts on, and welded them in place. So that's where they go. I'm just cleaning up now. I'm gonna put a coat of paint on and let it dry. But I got to make a little modification here. Um, instead of having it come out this way, I had it come out there. Essentially, when the battery's here, I didn't want it to like go into the chair back, if you will. So I just had it go out that way rather than that way. But that's what it looks like. So I'll get it painted and then um, after it's kind of dried, I'll put the battery modules in and kind of put things down and let you see how it looks. All right, I cut the uh, pieces and welded them on. Um, I swear I'm getting a little better at welding, right? Um, so again, uh, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and uh, I gotta weld on these these angle pieces here uh, again, just like it, like I did on the other one. Just the batteries won't go anywhere that direction. So once I get those welded, we'll go ahead and paint this one, and then uh, I'll put all the battery modules and things in place and show you how it turned out. All right, so there's a uh, one bracket, and there's the other one. So. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, just wipe it down with some alcohol and get it ready for paint. All right, I just got the uh, the second one, again, the various pieces welded up and just kind of doing a quick test fit before I paint. So that's where we're to. All right, just painted this side. May give it one more coat. Um, I also, painted this one half there. So when that dries, we'll go ahead and flip it over, paint the other half, get it all assembled, kind of both sides, kind of bolt everything down and show how it looks. All right, here they are all assembled. I think they look pretty good. Um, I still am getting a, a cooling plate that'll go in between and I'll have uh, inlets and outlets on that side that can tie into uh, the cooling lines. So, but other than that, they're done. All right, so I think that's all the time I have for this week. Next week, I think I'll try and tackle uh, more of the wiring. So I've got to get all the uh, wires coming in and out of all these modules for monitoring and then also the, uh, the large large gauge cable as well. So I don't know if I'll get all the way to uh, the packs, you know, getting all the packs done, but uh, I wanna start kind of getting the layout for all the high voltage. Um, my thought is I'll probably just put it kind of on top here of all the high voltage things. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments if you think the uh, High voltage should go somewhere else. One of the other things I'm trying to figure out is where should I put the charger, or uh, I shouldn't say the charger, but the plug-in. So should I put it here in the back somewhere, out the end, out the one of the sides, in the front? So that's one thing. And other than that, I'm just, like I said, I'll probably put like charger, DC to DC converter, and then uh, I'll probably build a new a high voltage box to kind of better fit the layout I've got. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if I'm missing anything. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.